The formulas within each set are identical enantiomers or diastereomers. Well, first we need to figure out what are enantiomers and diastereomers. The official definition of enantiomers is that they're non-superimposable mirror images. However, it's not really going to help us much, so I'm going to give you a little trick. When you have enantiomers, all chiral centers in them will have the opposite stereochemistry. So, for example, if I have molecule A with a chiral center configuration R and molecule B with a chiral center configuration S because they have opposite stereochemistry, they're enantiomers of one another. Diastereomers have some chiral centers that are opposite and some chiral centers that are the same. Therefore, in order for diastereomers to exist, the molecule must have at least two chiral centers. If it doesn't, it's either an enantiomer or an identical molecule. Finally, if two molecules are identical, all of their chiral centers will have exactly the same stereochemistry. So if I had two chiral centers S and S on one molecule, they will be the same configuration S and S on the other molecule as well. Now, in order for us to figure out what has the opposite stereochemistry and what has the same stereochemistry, we have to assign each chiral center either an R or an S configuration. In order for us to assign the R and S configuration, we must first find the chiral center, a carbon that has four different groups, like this carbon that I'm showing on the left molecule, and we will assign the priority to each group from 1 to 4, 1 being the highest priority and 4 being the lowest priority. The, group, the element with the highest atomic number gets a 1, the element with the lowest atomic number gets a 4, and then when we're in between we go atom by atom until we find the first difference. So let's take a look. Here we have hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and carbon. Hydrogen has the smallest atomic number, we give it a 4. Oxygen has the highest atomic number, we give it a 1. Now carbon, carbon, no difference, but notice that carbon on the left is only connected to hydrogens, while the carbon on the right is connected to a chlorine and another carbon. So it's going to win the battle, we give it a 2, and we're going to give this carbon a 3, our, configure, our priorities have been assigned. After the priorities have been assigned, we check. Is the lowest group going in? Is it wedged? Is it dashed? I'm sorry. Hydrogen is the lowest group and indeed it is going in. Therefore, we do not need to change anything. And we just, we just mm, put our numbers together. One, two, three. We go like this. And I have to tell you that if we're going to the counterclockwise configuration, this is S, and if we're going in the clockwise configuration, but I like calling it to the R, so if we're going to the R, to the right, this is R. Therefore, we went in the S configuration, and I am going to erase and assign S configuration to the chiral center. Excellent, let's continue. Again, hydrogen gets a number 4 on this chiral carbon, the one that we're checking here. Chlorine gets a number 1. We have hydrogen, chlorine, carbon, carbon. This carbon has only hydrogens, but this carbon is connected to the OH group, so it wins. So this gets a 2, and this gets a 3. In this case, our hydrogen is not going in. So what we will do is, we're going to assign its configuration on S is basis, and then we will switch it. So if we go 1, 2, 3, that means I'm going to the, to the left. So this is S. However, because my hydrogen was not going in, I'm going to give it the R configuration. So when the lowest group is not going in, we need to switch ster the stereochemistry. Let's go ahead to the to the to its partner. Here, our carbon is connected to, again to hydrogen, chlorine, carbon, carbon. Chlorine gets a one. Hydrogen gets a four. And we have done this before, so it should be easier for us to do it now. This carbon is connected to OH. It's a two. 
and this carbon is not connected only to hydrogen, it's a three. Now, if we do on S is configuration, we go one, two, three, like this, to the right, it looks like R. However, because hydrogen is not going in, we have to say the opposite configuration, so we will tell that this is S, this chiral carbon is S. And let's continue with our configuration assignment. Oxygen gets a one again, hydrogen a four, the carbon with the chlorine will get a two, and the carbon without, with hydrogens will get a three. Here, hydrogen does go in, so the way that we will connect our numbers is the way that the configuration will go. So we go one, two, three, it looks like it's going to the right, therefore it has the R configuration. We will erase this, not to confuse us, and we will put R right here. Now, comparing the two molecules, this chiral center with OH is S on the left, but it is R on the right, and the chiral center with chlorine is R on the left, but it is S on the right. You can see that each and every chiral center has changed its configuration. Now, according to our rules, if all chiral centers have opposite stereochemistry, they are enantiomers. So these two molecules are enantiomers because they have all opposite chiral centers. Let's continue to part B. We should have an easier time assigning configuration since we've done it in part A and these are very similar molecules, same connection but different stereochemistry. So let's check it out. Chlorine gets a 1, hydrogen is a 2, and then between the two carbons this one has an OH attached to it so it gets a 2, sorry, a 3. I'm so sorry, I just made a little a little mistake, I did not mean to say that hydrogen is a 2. Hydrogen is a 4, of course, because it's the lowest atomic number, lowest priority. This carbon gets a 2, and this one gets a 3. And so we have 1, 2, 3, which looks like the R configuration if we connect it. However, because hydrogen is not going in, we have to switch that configuration, and we will say that this is S. Let's go ahead and write that this is S, and let's do the second one. Hydrogen is a 4, oxygen is a 1, carbon with the chlorine is a 2, carbon with just hydrogens is a 3. Now it looks like it's going in the R direction again, but because hydrogen or our lowest group is not going in, we're going to switch its configuration to the S. So this is S and we're going to go ahead and erase the rest of the numbers. Let's continue to the right. We have chlorine, hydrogen, carbon, carbon. Chlorine wins, it's a one. Hydrogen loses, it's a four. Now between the two carbons, we said this one is winning because it has the OH and this one is losing. Okay, now putting our numbers together, one, two, three, looks like it's S. And moreover, um, the hydrogen is going in, so we do not have to switch anything. So this is an S configuration. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one. The next one we have OHCC. O wins, it's a one. Hydrogen, we give a four. And between the two carbons, this one wins because it's connected to chlorine, and this one is losing. Now, if we, if we put the numbers together, it looks like they're going in the S configuration. However, again, our lowest group, our hydrogen, is not going in, and therefore we need to switch it. So it looks like it was going to the S, in the S um, configuration, but we are going to say R because our hydrogen was not going in. All right, now that we have done that, we're going to check the two molecules. The carbon with the Cl is assigned an S, and here it's also an S. The carbon with an OH is S on the left, but on the right, it is the R. So we can see one of the chiral centers 
did not change. It, it, it retained the same configuration, S and S, but the other did switch from S to R. What is that? Well, these are diastheremers. Again, some of the chiral centers changed and some did not. So if you can see that um, this chiral center did not change, but this one did. And therefore, these two molecules are diastheremers. Excellent. Going to part C, we have hydrogen. You can guess it. It's a 4. Chlorine is a 1, 2 here, and 3 here. Again, we would have to switch our, our configuration because the hydrogen is not going in. If we go 1, 2, 3, it looks like it's an R, but we're going to assign it as configuration because hydrogen is in the wrong direction. And let's go ahead and continue. 1, 4, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3 is going in the R direction and hydrogen is going in. Our lowest group is going in. That Therefore, we do not need to switch anything. And our configuration is as a sign and it is R. Perfect. We have only one more molecule to go. We can do it. Let's go ahead and assign the configurations. Chlorine gets a 1. Hydrogen gets a 4. Carbon, without anything, will have the lower configuration. And this one will have the higher because it's attached to the OH, higher priority. I'm sorry. So we give this carbon a 2. And this one gets a 3. 1, 2, 3. It looks like it's going to the in the S direction. However, hydrogen again is in the wrong place. It's not going in, so we're going to say that this is R. Let's, let's go ahead, erase everything, and let's continue. Our oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, carbon, oxygen is 1, hydrogen is 4. Between the two carbons, this one is bigger because it's connected to chlorine, so this is 2. This carbon will get a 3. It looks like it's going in the S direction. However, the hydrogen again is not going in, so we need to switch its stereochemistry. So even though we wanted to say S, we're going to assign it R because hydrogen was not going in. It was not dashed. And now looking at these two molecules, we can see that the chiral center on the left has an S configuration, but on the right, the same chiral center has an R configuration. So that's switched. However, here, the chiral center with OH is R. And here, the chiral center with OH is also R. So these two stay the same. Therefore, one chiral center has switched and the other chiral center has stayed the same. What that means is these two molecules are diastereomers. They're like cousins. One chiral center switched and another stayed the same. I hope you found this helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Tell me in the comments what other organic chemistry topics or chemistry topics you would like me to go over next. And have a great day.